Hello coin engineers, welcome to the second video of our trader psychology series. Today we will dive into how to make risk management on spot and margin transactions. If you haven't seen the first part of this video, you can click on the link below and watch it before you jump into this one. Also, you can subscribe to our channel and follow us through our other social media accounts for more information and upcoming tutorials. <laughs> As you remember, I have mentioned the trader types in the first video. If we have a quick recap, there are three types of traders. Those are the long-term investors, mid-term investors, and short-term investors. Each requires unique mindsets and strategies. After you define yourself in one of these categories, it is time to manage your trade efficiently. In that regard, time, discipline, patience, and knowledge are the most crucial aspects of trading. Once you understand yourself, you will start making more solid, accurate, and positive decisions in your trading journey. Today, we will use the Bitcoin chart as an example, but of course you can use the same tactics for any other asset in your portfolio. Keep in mind that the technical analysis covers only 20% of trading. What remaining is 50% psychology and 30% risk management. Today, we will focus on that 30%. Let's break down risk management into the principles every trader should master. Remember. These principles apply to both spot and margin trading and they are essential for preserving your capital and achieving consistent profitability. So, what is risk management? Risk management is a fundamental aspect of financial decision making. Its core objective is to optimize potential gains while mitigating exposure to potential losses. To analyze this, you can use the risk reward ratio for a starter. Let's say you are considering a trade with a potential profit if it goes well. To maintain a 1 to 2 risk reward rate, you set your stop loss at $200 below your entry price. This way, you are risking $200 to make a profit. If you ask what is a 1 to 2 ratio, it is a common financial term to describe a trading or investment strategy where the potential reward must be twice the amount of the potential risk. In other words, for every unit of risk taken, the trader or investor expects to double the reward if the trade or investment is successful. Position sizing is another aspect you should consider before any trade. Lucky for you, it also includes the risk reward ratio. You can calculate how much you must invest, how much you will earn and how much you will lose by using the numbers here. Let's give an example, shall we? Now open your long or short position tools and adjust the settings. I will put in $10,000 but you can increase or decrease the number based on your capital. Decrease your risk ratio to 2% and confirm these settings. Based on your settings, the numbers in this tool will change and you can use these numbers on your calculator to identify how much you must risk before entering any trade. Now, the tool shows how much Bitcoin I must buy and when I should sell to make a profit or stop my position before losing more than I can afford. The quantity is the number you must purchase. Now, I will multiply this number by the entry price. After that, I must find the value of my risk percentage. How do I do it? Simple. I will divide this number by 100 and multiply it by my risk ratio. This simple calculation will show how much will I lose if things go sideways. You can use the same to identify your potential loss. This one was for a long position but you can apply the same calculation for short positions and set your stop loss or take profit orders accordingly. If you don't know how to use the stop loss or take profit orders, you can watch our Binance Futures tutorials. Let's move on to other critical elements before considering any trade. Those are diversification, emotional control, and risk assessment. Let's start with the diversification. You are not just trading Bitcoin. You have also invested in Ethereum and perhaps some traditional stocks. If Bitcoin experiences a significant price drop, your other assets may help offset those losses, reducing overall portfolio risk. Thus, make a portfolio and invest in various assets instead of having only one coin or a share of a stock. During a market downturn, it is common to feel fear and panic. An example of emotional control is sticking to your risk management plan and not deviating from it due to emotional reactions. If a trade hits your stop loss, accept the loss and move on rather than letting fear or frustration drive impulsive decisions. Imagine you are trading cryptocurrencies and there is news of upcoming regulatory changes that could impact the market. A risk assessment would involve analyzing the potential effects on your portfolio and considering whether to adjust your positions or hedge against adverse outcomes. These live examples illustrate how traders can apply risk management principles in real-world scenarios. 
You must understand and implement these principles to safeguard your capital and make informed trading decisions. Risk management isn't just a strategy, it is a mindset. It is about protecting your assets and ensuring you can continue trading in the long run. As you embark on your trading journey, remember that risk management isn't just a one-time practice. It is a habit. Incorporate these techniques into your trading plan and you will be better able to navigate the unpredictable world of the crypto and stock markets.